All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to install a cutoff switch for a lawn tractor, but this can be applied to basically any vehicle with a battery. Um, so hopefully this will help you install your switch on whatever you're using, if it's a boat, if it's a car, or if it's a tractor like mine. So this is my Craftsman lawn tractor. Basically, I have a winch, as you can see, attached to this. It has a remote control, so this has constant draw, a slight draw from the battery, so it can pick up the signal from this remote. So what happens is if this sits for a couple weeks, the battery will die and I can't start it. So I'm gonna install a cutoff switch, which you see right here for the winch so I can shut the power supply on and off to that so when not in use, the battery doesn't die. All right, so the tools I used for this project, I use a Dremel, which is um, from Harbor Freight. It was really, really cheap. I use a jigsaw with a metal blade. Make sure you have metal blades use a uh, electric drill with metal bits. I'm gonna show you why you need two bits in a couple minutes. And then also just a uh, plain socket set. First thing you wanna do is figure out where you want the switch. And I actually did this step already. And so what I did is I did a rough measurement of where these uh, terminals are gonna lead onto. And then I just um, marked it with a marker around here and did a rough cut. I used the jigsaw to cut it and then I used the Dremel tool to kind of smooth out the edges because you don't want to cut yourself. So that is step number one is figuring out where you want to put it. Okay, next thing to do is pop all the hardware off of the actual switch. Get your switch into your mounting hole there. And then what you want to do is you want to take the small drill bit and you want to drill your pilot holes in here for mounting the screws on. Okay, now that I have my pilot holes drilled, you put the larger bit on there and you can drill out your mounting holes. Now I matched this drill bit up to be a little bit bigger than the bolt. That way it'll slide in easily. And in case we're off center a little bit with our pilots, it'll still fit just fine. Now just a, just a quick thing. Um, I got this mounting bolt on there at first. It was a little bit tricky getting underneath and getting the socket under on the nut to get that tightened. So if you want to install the bolt upside down the other way, you just get a stubby Phillips head screwdriver on the other side and then just even an open-ended wrench and just turn and you can tighten it down that way. Okay, now that the switch is mounted to the body here, what you wanna do is run your uh, cables to the switch. So what I did is I took this cable that I bought at a tractor supply company and I ran this through the battery box and underneath the fender and connected it to the switch. So this is gonna be the power supply to the switch. And that is mounted, as you can see, that is screwed right on to the bottom of the switch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the power wire that I already disconnected from the battery. This is the power that goes to the winch. I'm gonna run this underneath and then connect it to the other terminal on the bottom of the switch. Okay, so the installation is finished, guys. As a recap, you take a cable, you attach it to the positive terminal of your battery, and that's gonna go on one side of the switch. And then you're gonna take your, um, power or positive cable from whatever you're powering and you're going to put it on the other side of the switch and the switch is just an on off that connects so I'm going to turn my winch on here and connect it and you can see it moving turn the switch off nothing switch on so I have cut power with the switch to the winch so hopefully that will solve my battery drain problem and I can keep this thing in storage and have peace of mind. So make sure you leave me a like, thumbs up, comment on the video, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please stay safe out there.